Good morning all you beautiful beautiful people uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so we're on, on our way off to the countryside we're gonna visit our friends there they don't live there but they have a side what do you call it house summer house house. Some house house in the countryside so Kenzo's gonna come along he's really really excited Kenzo. So we've packed swimsuits, that's just jump if it gets cold and we're going to spend a day out there. We're now about one hour away from Stockholm city, so it is definitely the countryside. And this is what it looks like. So it doesn't look like the archipelago, but it's like sorry, it looks like it, but I don't think it counts as it. Kenzo is with us, that's Leah just talking to his friend on the phone, and we're trying to get Kenzo to do his duties before um, before we get picked up by Moa. And we're gonna have a lovely day out in the sun. There are some clouds though, so we'll see what we'll do. But yeah, hopefully we're gonna swim a little bit. And yeah, oh, by the way, this is my outfit. So I'm wearing the straw bag with pom poms from Boohoo that I got like two or three years ago. About two years ago, I think. Asos glasses. This is the tank top from Zara that I showed in my try on haul. And like for seven pounds, super cheap. Zara bag and weekday shorts and Strada values. Shoot. Sunshine, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think I will put in some sections of the house and like the gorgeous. It's literally like an old okay, I forgot the word, but yeah, you'll see in the pictures, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is Leo. Anyway, we're gonna do our first dip in the lake. the Swedish like game you know with you throw the, the sticks and we've we've done some swimming in the lake and now we're about to eat some barbecue dinner I'm so, so excited about it because we got halloumi we got um, grilled meat we have got uh, tzatziki with extra garlic in because I absolutely love garlic 
and we're just gonna have dinner in the sun that's gonna be so nice after that we're gonna enjoy a delicious and gorgeous uh rhubarb pie oh i'm so excited about it i just i have such a big like sweet tooth snack like anything i yeah i just i can't say no but yeah this place is absolutely gorgeous and i love that it looks like this old i don't know old very like traditional swedish it looks so so gorgeous and really to own a place like this it would be absolutely amazing i put my sweatshirt on because it's quite cold but yeah i'm just gonna catch up with the others and have dinner and some fruit pie and we've come to visit the garden center just to get some inspiration for our garden and just have a nice time uh, so we met up with Leo's mo uh, we're gonna have a coffee in the sun and yeah just watch a little bit of plants already gone for it so this is the oh sorry <laughs> that's the carrot cake he actually took a raw bowl which is uh, date it has dates in it um, which is very unusual for you because you've got very sweet tooth so good. yeah it looks good this is carrot and orange juice um, and this is a little like garden cafe that's part of the um, that's part of the garden center so it's a really really small garden center in the south of Stockholm and it's quite central so a lot of people from the city go out here but it's absolutely gorgeous and there's not a lot of people here at the moment as well so it's very mm. safe you know, These are so so pretty, I would love to have them just outside of our like entryway in big <gasps> Oh my god Do you see that one? This one is big You're weird You're in the home after quite a relaxing weekend but still eventful and uh, yeah we did not end up getting any plants in the garden center but we got loads of inspiration and uh, yeah thank you for watching this vlog and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs I do always check my thumbs up but yes that was it and also tell me down in the comments how cute was Kenzo swimming for the first time which we, we think it's his first time uh, we obviously um, we didn't have him as a puppy so we took him over when he was like one and a half years old so we don't know if that's his first swim but looked like it and he didn't swim obviously because he's a pug so he's not supposed to be swimming but he was so I think he enjoyed it a lot being out in the countryside being free running around yeah let me know in the comments your thoughts and hope that you have a lovely lovely day I love you guys so so much and I will catch you guys next time